Welcome to Midlife Matters, where we celebrate women's wisdom and wit. I'm George Ann Lucier, your host, and I'm delighted to introduce today's guest, Jean Bauer. Jean is a career coach and author who has proven and practical career advice to share with us today. So welcome, Jean. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Now, you help people who find themselves in a job transition. What are some common pitfalls that you've observed um, as people are going about their search, particularly at midlife? In midlife, you, you have to be smarter than at any time because mm -hmm. there is some prejudice and you have to get over that obstacle. So um, the biggest mistake people of any age make is, is addiction to the internet. Mm -hmm. Just spending all day, every day, looking for work online. I think attitude is really important, I think, in, in job interviews. People are very clever at picking that up. You know, mm -hmm. are you coasting? Are you depressed? Are you tired? Are you excited about the work? We want to stick. We want to be the one that that person or those people, if it's mm -hmm. a panel interview, remember and that they that they see us in a positive way and they, they think, oh, you know, she can really do the job. Mm -hmm. Stories or examples, and I like the problem action result format just because it's tight and neat and gets to the point. Mm -hmm. um, is a great way to prove our skills. Because we can't just say, hire me, I have wonderful communication skills. Mm -hmm. We can say, I have great communication skills, let me give you an example, and then we tell a story, and that way you see it. And then you can tell your boss, um, hey, I think we should hire Jean because Listen. look what she did at her last company. So, mm -hmm. so you, that gives you that ammunition or that that um, information that you need to really make a good hire. So the idea of getting away from the computer sounds counterintuitive yes. to me yes. and probably to most yes. people. As a matter of fact, I would think many people at Midlife might be so proud that they're able to finally conquer some of the social <laughs> media and the internet yes. and all the different yeah. um, rigmarole of getting, filling out every company's very specific requirements. What are the benefits of and the necessity of turning off the computer. It's a great tool, I, I love it. The, the, the catch is you wanna run your search. So a diverse search would have you spending some time online, answering ads, obviously doing research, mm -hmm. email, social media, all that's awesome. Then you um, want to come up with a list of com companies where you really want to work. That's not based on job openings. It's just, I want to work at the casino, or I want to work at the Mystic Aquarium, or I want to work wherever. And you use that both a networking tool. And then you use it also to target the person who would be your boss at those companies directly. Mm -hmm. So you're answering ads, you're targeting, you're networking. Then you just pay attention to what's working. And you do more of what's working and less of what isn't. And networking. Yes. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yes. Networking isn't dumping on people. It's not, you know, here's my resume. You find me a job. Mm -hmm. that, that's not networking. It's, it's getting to know people, finding out what they need, seeing how you can be helpful to them, um, and then very carefully asking for their advice or their help, but in small pieces, not big pieces, mm -hmm. because we're all busy and we have other things we have to do. And then thanking people becomes really essential. We have to thank people all the time, mm -hmm. follow up, thank them. Um, and that's a great motivator because that makes them like you and then they want to help. And associations and different maybe job support groups, Wonderful. what role can that play? So we want to connect to these resources because when we're on our own, we, we're just looking at a very narrow slice of the pie and we're, especially if there's age issues or other possible obstacles, we want to make sure we have all the help we can to get over them. And then begin the process of, of learning about how to look for work. And that's where Connecticut Works at the American Job Centers are very good because they're everywhere and they're free. Mm -hmm. um, so whether you take a resume class, a, um, a class on Myers-Briggs to learn about your personality preferences, mm -hmm. there's a lot of resources to help people think about, well, what do I want to do next? Mm -hmm.